Hi guys, and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today, we want to present the video highlights of the last chance qualifier match between Furia Esports and Black Dragons during the Brazil League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. Second, and then eventually the middle floor, where we do have one player roaming at least, and make that zero players roaming at max. Bellapox will find the Goya roaming around open area and cut him down expeditiously. There's patience here from Herds. This could seriously pay off. Oh there it is God. right there. He gets two as well. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, he gets some damage dealt back to him, but... Stage two LCQ. He sits there for a minute and 40 seconds. Kudo goes for the retake. KZ patiently waiting. Taking a page out of Herds' his book will not be a flawless as Floria will land a nice pre-fire onto the head of KZ somebody out or just clear enough util to execute something late in the round bees going out via zombie strikes at the right time nade caught with utility in hand very easy kill for ask to pick up herds does spot one gudo trying to get aggressive in main lobby will feed back likely a very important pick up here have neutralized the man advantage held by black dragons going into this execute but going into it is something we actually still need to see them do they're stuck outside a square stuck outside of the repel the lack of those bees is going to make finding intel on these site players stationary for two and a half minutes now uh, the hell of a lot more difficult than it already is a zombie holding fast janitor still intact they'll try to find the kill and they will indeed down ask onto the floor but hornet with a two-piece walking up the janitor hallway basically makes things impossible for furia to take down yokai stunning and annoying the hell out of felipox black dragons tied progress uncontested by black dragons who have consistently maintained the man advantage throughout the entirety of this round kz on Herds' as mainstay, IQ will try and replicate some of his success. Nade banked off the corner, will force the tube route back. But the Zoto stop, and he push in from KZ, never mind. He doesn't care once the ice thaws. The man's on fire, he doesn't care about a doorway frozen off. Udo will find the long angle all the way from square, but I don't know how well he's going to be able to find this player on the diffuser. KZ might have just threaded the needle. UMP shots fail to land despite hard pings on both remaining oh, defenders. No. Oh, the attackers! has walked into an EDD. It's made it a 1v1 for KZ and with below half HP. Kudo can finish this off. If he does, it will tell KZ where he is. He goes for the swing, misses it, has to back off. Tries to rotate, Kudo doesn't know. He spots him, hops over on the desk, and how do you lose that? They're basically worried about it for a minute and 40 seconds. The first happened to stand oh. there for a minute 50. Well, but this there's time always some different off. ways. Oh. There is, but again, Herds thinks he's found something, but close with a shotgun. Ask clearly was not aware of it. But the shotgun can kill somebody in one shot. <laughs> Not much you can do. Oh man. Listen, I don't speak Portuguese, oh. but I think I think that was still I don't think that's how that works, my friend. <laughs> As he just walks into blue and gets eviscerated oh. by an M590. Everything's getting real interesting right now, Carter. It's getting real hot to trot between these two feisty and just trying to go blow for blow constantly trying to trade things out KZ looking for another one in garage this is what we want to see from black dragons though we want to see them playing to win i mean there have been a lot of times where players have there it is kz be careful oh the whole squad i was about to say commits to the f not they're ready for it oh my god kz this is i don't you know you cannot get out of that no matter how hard you try <laughs> stuck on the column not even wide enough to block all the shots to their name they're gonna fly in off of that fire arrow nade not finding too much just yet he's actually gonna get tagged up but it's gonna be fully pox as the first one to go down enough time to try and onto something he's still got them jv92 in one of the most key positions this main lobby repel can be really difficult to deal with but if he's able to shut down Gudo or oh. Nox, the repel is going to feel quite good. KZ repelling into top square. We have lost herds on the floor as outside the building. Nade shut down on that repel position. KZ's got to go big, and Florio's ready for it. JV92 might get one on the Spider Man angle, but it's all he's going to get. Felipox is stuck trying to make the most of an unwinnable situation. With a shotgun close and a UMP far, they'll bait. Here as secure can be, you are not concerned. EMP goes out though, awfully close to the castle, but the warden still avails himself. The castle too! Both hit it by a surprise attack by the FMG9. There's one player that might still bear the brunt of it. Another one decides to join the fray. Nux moving up the marble stairs. 
Black Dragons are in a man disadvantage, and they are not at all concerned about seeding this territory. But Here perhaps we go. they should have been. Herds is able to find the Azami in stock. The drone zooms by Marble Stairs. Shots fly past Nux's head. And this gamble on the top floor has not paid yep. off. Furia in all the right... This is a tale as old as time, Carter. And we see the drones all zooming around main lobby. And it works. Oh, works <laughs> and it works. Works completely. The drone spots him a moment too late. He sees Stop another it. one moving around Stop main it. lobby. Furia momentarily let that advantage slip. Herds, oh, and must win fight, and he loses it. Makes it a 3v3 for Black Dragons. A lot of time wasted. And it might not matter with how low HP Gudo is. 32 out of 110. There's still work to do. You've still got the utility on the site as well. Gudo being alive is important. It means at least there's likely going to be less of those Vulcan packs than there would be otherwise. But with these Zoto canisters still in JB92's hands, he can throw them up at those hatches, stop the breaches. It doesn't seem like he's doing it, though, as immediately they pick up the pace. Ask zooms into the site, domes the smoke with utility in hand. Nothing Nade can do at this point. Might win one, oh. but that's a might, and that's a big... But... I, given, that's crazy you pulled that off i could most definitely not do that but given that it's mid floor we are going to see a lot of focus on this top floor roam and i believe the first kill actually happens downstairs inside of the site nux is able to find the smoke but az trades back quite quickly on the hornet and ask the player who walked into site and got a crisp 3k in round seven which seems ages ago now likely trying to replicate some success here Ooh, az has got an entire my bad <laughs> set up there inside of stock and yeah definitely your bad because uh what <clears throat> unfortunate for philippox he's gonna end up getting gunned down and actually equalizing this man advantage he thought it was as simple as getting that pick and backing off but black dragons their patience it Jesus. is a massive herds clearly aware that somebody might be trying to go through tellers wise to his own oh. team's tricks but he's a bit late on the rotate Gudo's gudo is able to find kz and they know exactly where herds is now popping shots through the beepers one player crouched on the bomb chassis neither one can thread the needle of playing the game stuns in and this is more than likely going to be a dead herds here momentarily as yet another will fly oh, through but they're going to end up actually stunning themselves ask will get the big kill here a lot of damage onto fully pox and black dragons trying to work their way into the bomb site now Good, good, not getting sloppy with Herds. He's playing his life. He wants to get a kill there, wants to finish off that work on the Florio, but using the time they have remaining, remembering that they have 50 seconds, still quite a bit to clear him out. That's good. But with these toxic canisters, the time is low enough. KZ will force them to put this diffuser down with 30 seconds left, or they have to charge through that smoke, try to plant in an off spot. JV92 catches the backside lurk. A huge pick for Furia. Now the guns can, generally speaking, fully train on the server side. The Banshee also delaying time to go in. Nux caught on these toxic canisters. It's forcing him to breathe in all of that gas, take all of that damage. And how Black Dragons can get out of this, I think, is impossible. Now a Dokubi call going out. Still one that Gudo has in his possession. So one they can use for the execute, but nobody from Fury has been pushed out until Ask is able to find that player janitor. And now we've got something, but Nux tries to oh. gamble it on the marble stairs. Repel doesn't work out, but more broadly speaking, Black Dragon is able to breathe fire into the sight of CEO. Gudo continues that rampage. Nade cut down. And Felipox off the site, the worst thing you can see as a defender. A death mark tracker hovering in your face in a 1VX. In all likelihood, map point for Black Dragon. As there is no now, call out. We'll continue to ring in KZ's pocket. And a huge missed moment from JV92. He overcooks it. He overswings the angle. Hornet will take him down. It's a five versus two, Carter. I think that's it. I think that's the moment. I think that's the fight you need to win if you're JV92, even if it's one for one, even if it's just oh, to make man. it easier. But just when I say that, KZ risks it all. Goes prone beneath the desk. This will leave Herds by himself for the time being with my shield KZ from drones. The hatch opening up above him. Surely they do not check this. Surely with 20 seconds left, using Selmas to open that hatch, they do not check this. Herds needs to hold on. Herds needs to win. Oh, that's the Diffuser. Case. That's Diffuser drop cafeteria. He hops out. KZ oh. with two. Oh. KZ with three. But KZ. He was so close, but no cigar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Black Dragons are a map away from Montreal.
That is absolutely insane to say that, but this is something I was curious for as well. Look at that, ask on the entry, five in O. Oh. I think this has happened quite a few times where they created just the entry for themselves. Can was mine. Carter, there's a lot of things that are going into this series right now. A lot of different ways that this could shake out. We could have Furia continuing their dynasty, continuing their major streak with being able to close out this best of three and heading to Montreal. That's going to take a little bit. He'll push in behind the cracked mirror window. Two people to his left, but he will hold passive. Wait to see if anybody rotates across, but they're clearly ready for it. Herds tucked behind the bomb chassis. Ask not able to make his lurk work today. They go into garage for the trade, but Hornet flying blind. Casey rotates, reacts, and shuts down the oncoming Twitch and with the shotgun close, Furia facing no hurdles on round one. Black Dragons feeding bodies to the guns of Furia one by one by one. Goyo canister pops. Will Gudo even get something to make this? No. So have an ash to boot, and they're gonna go. break open the single panel. And remember, this blitz, he did have the bomb there for just a split second, but it's actually gonna be on Florio instead to put this case down. And the blitz, a bang up job of clearing out space. And that's all that's necessary, Carter. He doesn't need to kill that's anyone. Fine. Nux just needs to be annoying. That's all you need, and he needs to stay alive. But he turns up on Nade and brings him down to a four versus four in the post plant. JV in such a difficult spot. He'll duck for cover, but Nux on a reign of terror. This blitz has been hit or miss for Black Dragons and a lot of teams in Brazil, but Nux is popping off. Double kill so far. Looking for three as two defenders start swarming around the diffuser. Herd's able to take him down, but so much time has been wasted. They need to cover Felipox on this diffuser. They all line up for Hornet. Double, double kill for Black Dragons and close on the shotgun. Here on catwalk, this will break up that mirror window and start trying to open up barrels for our blitz. Ah, uh, Nade oh, completely no way. caught off Nade, guard. Hello? Shot in the back oh, of the no! head. Mira beat to death against the walls of Nighthaven. The blitz has got to recover, but these vertical angles still strong. That's the problem. When you're attacking this bomb site, you might get that control. But with the vertical angles, I just realized the diffuser's down. What? In the dead of night, in the cover of the blitz, Black Dragons move us into a post and Furia who think they've recovered. And now gotta find a way to march down to that middle floor while the Grimm's outside a garage. One player far outside of IT. And Bellapox, one bullet away from death. KZ will creep close. The nade banked, lands right at his feet, forces him off for the briefest of seconds. Hornet down below two, able to cover this diffuser as Felipox tries to go for the retake. He baits it. He falls soon after. No There's some ways for the def uh, defenders to get some bolts around that shield and get some solid damage into you. But yet oh, again, no. oh, Furia, we have got to stop just trying to rotate around this map lackadaisically. We are not worried about Black Dragons on these angles, and it is severely punishing us. That's two big kills going the way of the offenders, and all just off of solid patience. Speaking of patience, Ask has creeped up into IT off of the back of that now that the garage player has fallen. Another one? Oh, Gudo. Trying to flirt with the oh player Lord. on Aqua Stairs. Meanwhile, the round is being won by the Breach. Nux might fall, but Felipox is trying to fight a 1v1 that frankly does. They're going to go about things no in a different shot. way. Instead of going for those main breaches, they're going to send Blitz flying down the back stairwell. And this is going to more than likely completely catch off the Fury of members. But as soon as I say that, what? A huge moment here up against the Blitz. And somehow, some way, Fury of... The bottleneck was bad earlier, folks. It's even worse now. Black Dragons have got to win out in a very convincing way when it comes to the gunfights, and it needs to happen right now. Two big ones, but two big kills back. It's a three versus two. Take down a 3v1 as Casey's able to cut down Ask. Gudo will spot one and really soften up that Malusi quite extensively. The castle lining up right next to him, but there's Fior up one of the choke points that Fiora gonna have to push through. This realm has worked perfectly, even if they didn't get that opening pick, in just wasting Furia's time. And there's no gap to exploit. There's no place to run up and get a big kill. Nate will be able to use the verticality and cut down Ask, but the broader site setup is still intact. Hornet will shut down herds at the bottom of Exo Stairs, and they just have to run through the flames the moment they dissipate. Time this perfectly. KZ needs the cover. There's nothing he can do. Furia have to deal with another headache provided by Black Dragons. They can pick him back up. Shotgun gets oh, the man. Brava. Can easily pick up Bellabox on that long angle.
floor, and this is starting to look like more of a Fury round by the second. Hornet is playing so aggressively. They know he's oh, here. Kudo is able to find herds, but KZ on that punch hole able to spot the feet behind the desk. Able to trade out that death from herds. Huge kill for KZ to maintain that advantage. Florio's rotated down below. Fury are very focused on the actual bomb site right now, aiming to put this diffuser down. They've got the angles. They definitely got it the better. What the hell? They no just way. spot a smoke rotating in front no of the way. window. Nux dies in a bit of a silly way. There's that C4 from Gudo, but we still got the one from Florio down below. The bandit needs to hold on. The C4 has been placed down beneath. What can Gudo do? It is <gasps> ripped. They have to win this off gunfights. Florio has got to rotate up and support his team. And Felipox is hunting down below. A 1v2 shoots the Candela. Big moment for Gudo, but he's not able to land any shots on that close angle. Florio joins him in the moment. Oh! And Felipox is down below. It's a 1v2 that the Ying just barely... Here he goes. He pops it and leaves. Doesn't need to do anything. Vertical angles could take him down if he retreats, but close with his shotgun. I take him, but no! JV92 takes him instead! Nux caught off guard, they turn up the pace, and Black Dragons need to hold on. Hornet with the shotgun might find one, but Furia maintained their lead as they storm into the site with seven seconds remaining. As close, the only one left. Furia have somehow made a mountain out of this round, and there's nothing he can do. No angle on the diffuser. Ask has nothing, no intel going his way. Pops up. Domes, herds moving around the tank. One player stuck behind will be softened up by that impact, softened even further by the vector. He charges no him, way. run out of ammo, switch to your secondary. No way. Scared me, man. Oh my god. Somebody sprinting right oh. next to herds. Oh, Felipox says hello to Hornet. Both him and Ask rotating around. Ask well able to done. get that pickup though. The finisher onto herds on the mid floor. JV92 will trade though. His brother in arms. That Fenrir cut down by JV92. Big pickup. But now the Mavericks softened up to Ask tries no. to get back to sight, but the fadeaway unsuccessful. 21 HP side. Actually, I think we're gonna have Blitz try and pseudo pinch this with another player. Here we go. The flash goes in. They've decided to try and build this off Aqua with a backstab from IT, but KZ doesn't work. Nade's able to get one kill, but most importantly, the like this. if he is able to be the deciding factor. This is more than likely a Black Dragon's round, but he has to start getting value, and he has to start getting it now! It's Nux instead! It's two players on this mid-floor, and this might be all the calamity that's necessary. KZ will come and clean this up, and oh, what a moment here! He tries to hit fire through! The SMG-12 will take out herds, and here it comes. 20 seconds remain, and what is our conclusion? Asked off-site with only 15 seconds. They pop the Vulcan packs on site, too. They go in for the kill, oh. he holds, oh. he holds, he misses oh. them both, but there's so little time, the diffusers on second floor, Florio and Hornet, both holding strong, holding fast, holding match point, holding overtime in their hands, oh, man. to get an edge over Black Dragons, 20 seconds remaining, as they push in, all of Black Dragons are ready, they slowly peek, but it's Furia that breaks the stalemate first, Gudo fights back soon after. Nux barely dodges the shots and unleashes a volley onto Furia. Their IT and Aqua push falters. It's gotta be Felipox. Remaining, we are flying towards a conclusion here. This could be the last round that Furia see for this entire calendar year, Carter, if it continues this way. He just opened up the floorboards. Just by chance, he sees them. They've spotted the Clash 2. Oh, no. He turns his back. Oh, no. oh my god. So close, but he turns around. But JV92 in such a bad spot. Herd's able to find one. Still a 4v4. You said flying towards that late round, but so far it's been a crawl. The only burst of action happening at about the sub minute point. The castle barricade on both sides <gasps> of this blitz. No. There's nothing to destroy it. You'd have to rotate the ace all the way over. They rotate the deployable shield here too. That might end up favoring Black Dragons. Instead, they move over to Garage, spotted by the BP. The Clash will rotate in turn as the barbed wire in his way. Smoke canisters go out, complete even 4v4. Warden in the right spot, but can't see through the smoke. Wraps around and shuts down, ask. Oh! 2v1, Hornet's got a clutch. He's gotta go big.
open up a hole. Furia are fighting tooth and nail for this execute, but Black Dragons have all the tools to counter it. The smoke lineup goes out. Ask with the first nade finished off up top. Furia stalled out just a little bit longer. Only 20 seconds left. They don't have time. They've got to push forward. Hornet, he's downed on the floor. The C4 misses, and that gives Velopox what he needs. They've got the Diffuser down. He's only tagged. Nux is shot in the back. JV92 wraps around, loses a key fight, and Black Dragons retake that lead. 3v4, Velopox on low HP, an easy pickup, tantalizing for Black Dragons. They trap him in their jaws. KZ can't land the shot through the verticality. The second one works. Oh my gosh. But they've got it. Herds, you need to show up now. 10 seconds you need to live. One, two, three kills need to go your way. Just a little bit longer. Just a couple more shots. Just survive for one more second. They've Does he have it? it? It's too late. I don't know. Done. I don't know if he's got it or not. You are out. Like Dragon, so it's a little bit less balanced at what we see from Fury. There are players that really weren't hitting their shots in this game, and that's showing here as well. We now move on to map three. Let's just set the stage for you one more time. Skyscraper, Fury were two and two on it in stage two. The last time they played it was a 7-1 over Elevate Academy in the first round of the LC. I mentioned Hornet prior to this game, how he's so so dangerous on these entries it's not really been working out for him just yet but the players on furia i can't really find one player that's really been standing out on these entry engagements as well it just it just comes down to what felipe was saying to us after the game they have perfect storm of the stakes the moments the results the meaning it is just such a it's a seldom occurrence in rainbow mm -hmm. six but that's not the areas to play around in this bomb site, Carter. It's still very worrisome for the offense. Especially with Nox close with the shotgun, but SMG 12 in hand. He goes what for the a wide shot. swing, but the trust in Ask. 14 entry engagements so far this series, I believe, is the number. Not an entry, but it just goes to show how aggressive this player can be. Ask always trying to get into the fray, always trying to get into some action. He wow. creeps up close on the breach. Amongst the have corpse it. of Nux, he immediately takes the position. C4 not even necessary. Felipox gave himself over willingly to the bandit, but Ask pushes a little too deep. Herds might be one HP, but he's got a 3k so far, and he's made it to 2v2 against Black Dragons. He's the only coverage for KZ on such low health. They could easily shut him down. Gudo moves. And the possibility of Herds taking them down. I'll try again to launch another salvo. Dokubi call goes out. All the utility be burned. JB92 gets that kill. C4 a little early, so that'll allow Felipox to move in. Oh! Black Dragon's guns are so hot. The shots are landing exactly when they need to. Furia are stopped out of again another round. So oh, switching to the pistol, KZ will get one. Or finish off somebody at least, but Black Dragon's two defenses now just consistently the better team. Consistently having not only a lead in control, lead in manpower, but also just a bit more aggressive and confident than Furia. They are not at all scared after Nighthaven. Certainly might start shaking a bit as KZ whittles this man count down just a little bit lower. 1v2, one to the hard left of him. He'll try to swing around. He's got no flashes and no information. He is flying blind only on instinct. There's very little he can do. He'll switch to the pistol. Well, the group's still alive, the two C4s, but Ask looking to get aggressive. Caught either on some verticality or maybe at the window. It's a bit unclear, but he's dead nonetheless. Oh yeah, KZ just sat on the rappel. This is an NJR angle. Just sat there the entire <laughs> round you could be. And you're able to find it. Herds with Nux too. Remember, just two rounds on Skyscraper Attack and you are feeling good. Furia careening towards a victory right now as they get that 5v3. Florio, and potentially the difference maker position. If you're able to hold delivery, you can not only get an angle on somebody dropping the hatch, but hopping in the window as well. Also reassuring your team that nobody's going for that backstab, but as the flashes go out, instead Felipox looking to take that bit of control. The bandit has too much to do as we are rapidly entering a 1v4. Kudo stuck outside of the bomb site, full control for Furia. T time might be triple zero, but this diffuser's down nonetheless. C4 goes to waste, shots go wild. Bodies that Furia have around oh this area. God. I, I appreciate his passion here, but it is such a massive risk. Nice. Oh, but this is a rotation that needed to happen. Hornet creeps over, able to shut down one player from Furia, but it's only one. That trade, oh, oh my God, Ask. Oh my God, Hornet. 
Black Dragon's making it 2v2. Ask is basically dead. There's not much they can do. Oh my god, JV92 blown away to bits by the shotgun. Fella Pox in the 1v3 tries to pick up the pace, tries to take advantage of the chaos, but they've spotted him on the default. Hornets got him dead to rights. They'll force him back. No flashbangs. Just like KZ in Office Exhibition on this same operator, he'll get his one, confirm his kill. 25 seconds remaining. Not a lot of time to even use that active drone in his pocket. So he'll push him forward. Oh. One player on main, one actually in the site. He oh, can no. cross right now, but the sprint... It is down to the dying moments of round five. A four versus five. A drone placed <laughs> on the house stairs will discover our mute, and he should be dead to rights at a moment's notice, and he will be. JB92 was the one piloting that drone in the first place, and they've gotten what they've wanted. A four versus two in the dying moments. Yeah, Gudo's going to creep forward. Casey is down. Ask, oh my lord, so close on this angle, but he's in a blender. Tries to pull out the secondary shoddy. Gudo, nice flick on the one. Oh, let's get away. Nine times out of ten, they'll let you build it up, won't they? They'll let you get right up to the edge where you're like, oh, I really think that we have the round. Oh, two people just died off some crazy swings. Oh. And speaking of crazy things, Ask is going to be the first one to deliver in this round. Is that Nitro Cell will sing onto Nade. I was like, oh my god, he's going to destroy the Selma. Instead, Black Dragons. Utility and Gunplay have destroyed two members of Furia, fighting back in force on Office and Exhibition. And Ask thinks he can get away with more. Ratting behind the shrine in the cub, oh! he swings with the shotgun. Black Dragons have said, you thought you were comfortable. You thought after a win on the primary site, you would be wrapping up this half three to three. We've still got a... So ended up taking that gunfight. He's like, I have to kill Felipox here. If I don't, then our strategy does not work out. He's not patient enough either. And still in this area is not only the smoke, but also our other players. And he's still watching it. You can see how hard Black Dragons is trying to fight for this Black Stairs because this is their entire strategy. Even Ace showing up What's now. And he's still got that M590. Donate yourself, son. Ask gets it, but he also gets down. Gouda will open it up somehow, some way. He's got 5 HP to his name. This is not looking like a BD round in the slightest, given our current circumstances, and Fully Pox will get his double kill. That right there, that player in that position, folks, has completely shut down Black Dragons in round seven. Yeah, you could just literally out in the last remaining minute of this. They'll lose Nate. A Nitro Cell outside for KZ will go off, but it won't find anyone. It won't even damage a player on the offensive side, although Black Dragon's now running into some complications of their own. Hold on, Gudo Hornet. What the hell is going on? We started walking into the site and shooting people. JB92's got to do double duty. Oh! While KZ is stuck dueling Ask on the opposite side of the map. Where Fox is playing his life. He's got one player right around the corner in Terrace. They're trying to bait Black Dragons into going for this pick, trying to commit, but Nux has also opened up that window and forced him off. But Felipox with that win makes it 5v3. It can just play his life, force out more time, but Hornet is able to shut him down. Down on the floor, but Black Dragons, a lot lower time, a lot less control. They had a 5v3 wow. last time, but Florio snapshot onto the Kiba Barricade neutralizes the advantage. Now slowly making their way, acquiring control in drop. No way. Hornet is on a heater. Not losing fights with this R4C. And Nate is next on his hit list. Mean, my man. We got to get this under wraps. I'm feeling a little scared now, especially as Herds and KZ. The latter tracked. Big trade by Herds. But it's a trade nonetheless. With There's JV a player outside. Falling. What? Nate is outside? Shooting one Claymore, what the hell is this? I mean, you basically can't make it back at this point. Nade will push further. Oh my god, they know it's a two-player hold on site now. They know what to deal with, so Gudo will push up. Needs wow. to win that fight, but KZ's head perfectly framed behind the Kiba barricade. Nade's gamble does not pay off. JV92's whip has bit Furia in the ass. Potential downfall of Furia, a team that just earlier this year lifted a hammer in Sao oh, Paulo, no. Brazil. Sometimes it's about merit. Sometimes it's about skill. Sometimes you just got to get goddamn lucky, Carter. And Philippe Pox, he's going to be on the receiving end of that luck. Ask is giggling to himself right now. 
breaks that barbed wire. Some more shots ring out from Black Stairs. The Black Dragon's firmly in the advantage, not only with that 5e4, but he's got time oh, to where to lurk. The Fenrir him. goes on the hunt, but Ass can't be shot. He's impervious to damage. Oh, he's my. going for three. Deagle out now. It seems like Furia might just be cooked. Nade and Herds bouncing back from poor performances. Need to close it out. It's a 1v5. On disadvantage attacks, it doesn't matter. Sao Paulo felt like a movie for Furia, but we all know the sequels tend to be worse. Black Dragons knock Furia out of the limelight and qualify for the Montreal Major. He goes back to the international play after SI 2023. He's got some things to be put right. As he said, you know, he wants to play against G2. His former teammate is on that roster. He wants to play against Liquid. That was a team that he got kicked by. There is a lot for him to be done on that international stage, but not just him. We talked about Hornet. He's been playing this game competitively since 2019. That is five years, and he hasn't made it to an international event now. Now is his time. He gets to go to an international event. Florio has been playing since 2020.